Optimization in predictive analytics allows organizations to solve complex business problems, to achieve maximum results with minimum resources under real world constraints. Let's start with Gartner's definition of optimization. Optimization is a type of prescriptive analytics that finds a best solution from a set of feasible solutions using a mathematical algorithm that maximizes or minimizes a specified objective function subject to constraints. Best is a value or KPI that is either maximized or minimized according to an objective. This could be as simple as a measure of profit or loss, but can be something more strategic or complex like a measure of risk. Where optimization really becomes valuable is being able to understand how to achieve the objective within the parameters of your business or real world constraints, making it a feasible solution. Let's take a look at the maturity of the business analytics disciplines who evolved according to the value they provide to business. Firstly, descriptive and diagnostic analytics. This is really traditional business intelligence or reporting, telling you what has happened in your business, what is working or not working. There have been advancements in this area with exciting new visual tools, making reporting available to business users to be alerted when KPI conditions are breached or met. Still, it is only providing hindsight. Predictive analytics provides more valuable insight. This can be a binary prediction of an event, for example, fraud, yes or no, but can also be more complex, like producing a score that represents the level of interest a customer may have in a product or service, or a level of risk associated with a customer engaging with a credit-based product or service. These measures of predicted customer behavior can be used to develop segmentation strategies, targeted marketing campaigns, and an understanding of risk. They are predictions and forecasting. But how do you operationalize these predictions? Today, the most value in analytics comes from the ability to align these predictions for the future with business action. It is key that the alignment supports the business objectives and any planning must also respect all the constraints. This is what we mean by optimization. It gives you a powerful tool to automate decisions in your business. It prescribes a course of action answering questions such as what should we do and what will happen when we do it. Analysts agree that the next trend in gaining value from analytics will be through optimization. Here we see that according to TDWI research, the value to be gained steadily increases as an organization matures its approach in analytics, from descriptive to diagnostic and predictive towards optimization and prescriptive analytics. This leads us to believe that optimization can add a lot of value to almost any business. In the business of risk management, analytics plays a key role in predicting customer attributes of risk across the whole customer journey. Starting with predicting overall risk when deciding to give a customer a credit product in originations, to changes in risk profile as customer history is monitored and credit line may be adjusted in development, to marketing tactics, ensuring the right product offering, deployed to focus on retention, to finally dealing with any default and moving into probability to pay back modeling. Optimization helps to balance risk with reward at each phase, working to build longer term, more profitable relationships with customers. Optimization is valuable when dealing with competing objectives, and in the business of risk and risk based products, optimization can ensure a continuous balance of risk and value across the entire customer base. Using the output from models that predict risk, customer loyalty, customer lifetime value, optimization enables businesses to balance objectives with customer KPIs and constraints, such as regulatory, channel capacity, budget, and appetite for risk, to achieve a large lift over what the organization is already doing. Optimization is particularly beneficial in collections, a cost center, balancing even more attributes from the need to collect faster and reduce roll rate, to ensuring the maximum payback of outstanding debt, and all the while ensuring that the most cost-effective approach is used. There is even a fourth benefit, as a well-executed and efficient debt management will also limit upsetting customers. Businesses are able to build propensity models or build models over existing models to identify the right channel and action, understand the effectiveness of the treatment, and then use optimization to balance the effectiveness of the treatment with the costs of the collection effort. Angos offers both software and services. Our comprehensive software suite caters for data preparation, model building, visualization through our native charts and partnerships with Tableau and Click to model management. And Angos Software is known for its easy to use graphical user interface and workflow. 
Within the Angos Analytics platform, our optimization application is Insight Optimizer, which allows users to perform optimization on model results from any analytical environment, to make the most of your resources and achieve the best ROI, to determine the best customer engagement strategy, to automate complex optimization coding, and to solve complex business problems. Insight Optimizer is a standalone application and can be used on top of whatever tools you're already using. And now, if you're saying to yourself, this is great, but we don't have the in-house resources or knowledge to tackle this, Angles can help you there too with our range of professional services. Thank you for your interest. The full-length optimization webinar is also available to view on demand. If you'd like to access it, click to open the link. Or to find out more, please contact us at sales at angos.com.